Let's take a look at the focus within CSS property. Check down in the description to edit the live code on Scrimba. CSS tip, we're going to be looking at the CSS focus within property and how we can use that to style parent elements from children elements. Now, traditionally with CSS, you can't do that. If you have a child element, like in this sample, I can't style the parent. There's no such thing as a parent CSS selector, but with this little trick, there actually is. So we're going to look at three different samples here and how this uh, CSS selector can work. Now in the first sample here, you can see I've just got a simple div that's acting as our container that's opened and closed right here. And then I have two inputs or two tags in the middle. So we have an input field that's a child and then the simple div that's a child. And let's open up, open up the preview here and you'll be able to see what this looks like. Uh, let me open up the index here. And this is what we have over here in our preview. Okay, so we just have a single input field. And then over here, we have what could be considered like a password hint where our div is. And the flow is I don't want this password hint to appear unless the user is uh, toggling into this field. So once they click here, I want this to appear, but at no other point. So let's go ahead and set that up. Now, here's the HTML. Notice that this password prompt just has a class of password prompt. So we're going to come over here to our style.css and let's add our first little rule here. So we're just going to say password dash prompt. And again, this refers to that div tag. And we're just going to set the default to be display none. Okay. And you can see over here, as soon as I refresh, sure enough, that little password prompt is now hidden by default. So now let's go ahead and turn it on only when we have focus. So we can say password dash prompt again. Actually, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. We need to start with the form container. So form dash container focus within. So this is the pseudo selector here, focus dash within space dot password dash prompt. So you can see here that the last element in the stack, of course, is the one we're going to be affecting. So the password prompt div, but only when the parent element is itself focused or has any children that are focused. That's the key here. That's what the focused within does. Either the parent is focused or any children of that element are focused will trigger this. So I can just simply say display is block. In other words, I want to turn it back on. So now if I come over here and refresh, when I click into this field, uh, you'll be able to see that little password prompt appear over here when this is actively selected. So that's how this works. Now, what I mentioned at the beginning is you can actually style the parent based on this as well. So I'm gonna do one more rule just to kind of reinforce this. And let's say dot form dash container. Oops, A I N E R. Focus dash within. We're gonna do the CSS rule directly on the form container. And let's just simply do a border. So we'll say border is five pixels solid red. Okay. Now at this point, if I select this element, that's actually a child, right? The input is a child. So if you go look at our HTML, the input is a child of form container. But the way this works is if any of the children have focus, it will still apply the rule. So now when I come over here and click inside of here, Sure enough, you see that that border, that red border is applied to the entire area. So that is a pretty fancy trick. And uh, the focus within allows that. So we're styling the parent based on state of the child. Now in the third example here, this is a little bit more complex, but we have a menu system. So I'm gonna set up this one as two.html. Now you can see this has a bunch of default HTML. I've got navs, I've got unordered lists, and I'm not too concerned about the order here. And there's even more CSS. So if you click over here into the CSS sheet, you can see there's quite a bit of CSS. Most of this CSS is just setting up this menu over here. Let me show you how the menu works. So when I hover over these, you can see that there are drop down menu in the middle. So it's a drop down menu. They have hover states for all of those various states. And this is how most menu systems work on the web. But what if I was building a web application 
to where I wanted it to behave based on clicks and things like that. Well, we can actually use the focus within property to do something like that. So you can see right down here on line 17, right now I have it set up to a hover, but if I delete the hover and instead set it up with this li focus within property, let's go ahead and refresh. So you can see when I hover over this, there is no color change, right? The color is just staying the same. But now if I click so that there's the focus within gets triggered, then I get the color change. So now I can simply click between these like a traditional operating system menu or something behaves, okay? And the same thing down here on line 43, um, if I delete the hover and instead just leave the focus within property, let's come over here and refresh this one time. So now you can see that nothing works on hover, right? So if I click, that gets highlighted. If I click the middle menu item, then the drop down menu appears like I would expect. Okay. And if I put them both in here, so I'm going to undo that. So I have my hover and my click. And let's go refresh. Now we really can get some interesting things. So I can click inside of here and then I can refresh down in here and get this menu to behave exactly like a traditional web app would behave um, as well. So let's go up here and add the focus. Sorry, not the focus within, but the unordered list as well. Well, there we go. So they both have now hover and focus within. This one down here has hover and focus within. And now when I refresh, you can see that I can hover and move down or I can click and I still get my hover states. Now what's beneficial here as opposed to hover is if I click inside of here, I can move my mouse outside of the area and the menu still stays. active or down. This is kind of how traditional menus would work in an operating system sometimes. So anyway, using that focus within property, you can create some interesting effects and interfaces by styling parent and children element based on the selected or focus state of the children. Very cool CSS trick. I hope you learned a tip or trick in this lesson, and we will see you in the next one.